Well hello and welcome back to Sailing Madness. It's a lovely sunny day here in the marina and as you can see it has finally arrived. And for those of you that are new here let me explain what has happened. Now this goes back to December last year so a good five months ago I ordered that dinghy. Uh, it took about three months to come and then when it arrived at my house I soon realised it was going to be too big to get in the car to bring to the marina and put on the boat. So it sat in my garage for a couple of months gathering dust until I've had time to hire a van and bring it here to the marina. Now that happened yesterday, we've hired a van for a weekend, we did all sorts of household stuff, taking an old load of rubbish to the dump and one of the jobs that the van was used for was to bring the dinghy here. But of course now it's here, the job is to get the dinghy balanced on the transom at the back of the boat, on the davits. I think there's going to be a bit of playing around with knots and connections, so let's see how we get on getting it onto the back of the boat. And then after that I think it's only right that we take it for a little jaunt around the marina with the new electric outboard. Okay, so one of the problems I knew I was going to have getting the dinghy on and off the transom at the back of the boat here was getting it past the swim ladder. Now these metal poles that stick out the back are for the swim ladder. Let me just lift this up, you can see the ladder's there. Now that goes over into the water, helps you get back on the boat when you've been swimming in the sea. But of course the problem is, as you can see, it sticks out and I need to raise the dinghy up above these. So these aren't sharp enough to punch the dinghy, but as you can see, it's just been floating around the last couple of minutes, it's starting to scratch it already. So I think the solution is going to be is order some trolley wheels to put on here, one on each side, and then I'll need to get some longer bolts to go through here. Uh, but I think that should, a couple of wheels there, one, one each side, I think that should, um, that should resolve the problem. I'll get them ordered when I go home tonight, but for now I'm going to have to work out the best way of getting this dinghy on and off the boat without scratching it too much on those. Right, so here goes, getting in the dinghy for the first time. So I've got a life jacket on, just in case. Well, that wasn't very graceful, but at least I got in. Right. Right, we're connected, front and back. Right, okay, so first attempt, as you can see, it's a, a bit ski width. So I'll just tighten them up a little bit, I'll just put it up a little bit more at the bow, and then we'll see if I can keep it straight. Right, okay, so now it's up. I think um, I'm happy with that. The only thing I need to do is stop these lines rubbing on the bow. So I just need to find something to secure it a little bit further forward. As you can see, I had two lines ready here on the back. Uh, one longer, one shorter. I've tried them both, the shorter one works better, so I think that'll do for now. I think what we'll do now is get the electric outboard out and go and have a little play on the water. Right, okay, so that's me on the boat, the engine's on the back. Let's, uh, let's go for a little blast around the marina. Oh, wrong way.
I think I need to sit more in the middle of the boat. <laughs> And we're back. I enjoyed that. Right, now for the next challenge. Let's see if I can get the dog in the dinghy. Here you are. Here you are. Come down here. Come on. That's it. You can do it. Come on then. You gonna come for a ride in the dinghy? You gonna come for a little ride? Come on there, come in here. Come on. Just this way. You go from this way. That's it. That's it. Come on then, you come this way. That's it. No, 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 no. This way. That's it. Are you going to come in here? You've decided against that, have you? Come on. This way. Hey, come on. You can do this. Was you having a little sleep in there? Was you having a little sleep in there? Why don't you come up the front here? You come up here. This side. Here. That's it. No, no, this side. That's it. Come this side. You come here. Come down there. Go on. No, 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 no. Girl, you stay there. Are you ready? There you are. That's a good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl! <laughs> right, well, that went okay, didn't it? I was fairly pleased with the way Jess handled her first ever ride in the dinghy. It was always going to be a bit nerve-wracking for her, but I think I'll do a few more trips like that around the marina with her and over a period of time she will get used to it. But for a first go, that was great. At least she didn't try and jump out and get into the water. That was my biggest fear. 
and with regard to the dinghy on the back of the boat well the davits work fine it's just getting the dinghy over the ladder for the bathing platform uh, once I get those wheels and a nice extra long bolt to go through to keep everything together I think that will resolve that problem so all in all a good day's work now what we need to do is get out and do a little bit more sailing right okay so it's been a couple of days now before we go sailing let me just update you on the problems I had getting the tender on and off the transom at the back of the boat here and as you can see if I just swing the camera around I have now installed these wheels so as you can see now the tender just brushes up against these wheels uh, I had to get some longer bolts to go through the end of the uh, the swim platform there or the hinge of the swim platform at least and as you can see that is now a lot better for the dinghy because they instead of hitting this and scratching the the dinghy as you can see they're now just uh, rub on the wheels the wheels spin around and it's a lot easier to get the tender on and off the boat so nice little job well done right okay enough doing stuff let's go out and do some sailing <laughs> Right, so it's another exciting day. I did promise you some sailing and if you watched the last episode when I took my son sailing today, I'm introducing you to child number one. This is my daughter Sophie. Hello. And you've been on the boat now for a couple of minutes. What's your first impressions? It's bigger than I thought it would be. I thought it was a lot smaller. But it's cool. I like it. It's okay. going to be good in the summer. Yes, it will be. <laughs> uh, right, we're going to go for a little blast around the marina first in the dinghy. Um, and then we'll go out sailing when the gates open and as you can see little Jess has joined us today so she's going to be putting her life jacket on in a minute <laughs> right a couple of things to do before we set off safety briefing is first we've had a cup of tea um, and then uh, we'll be getting in the dinghy and then we'll be going sailing and the weather is looking like it might rain it might mess my hair up Sophie's first go in a tender and it's not going very well it's going fine I've parked it the wrong way right so what you need to do is reverse. Wait, I'm on the wrong side now. I've forgotten which way reverse is. Oh no, I've unclipped. Is this one reverse? No, that's forward. And now what? Just go up there and turn around and come back again. There you go. <laughs> this is the bit I didn't like doing as much. Some um, motion going. Can I do it on. forwards or back? Forwards. That's backwards. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! I just start spinning. There you go. Now you need to take us back to the boat. <coughs> okay. Okay. And we'll clip back on again. Oh! It's the wrong way to steer it. It's opposite. Grab the back one and I'll grab the front oh. one. Got it. That was a heave. Did you enjoy that then? I did, that was good. 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 Right, so we're doing a little bit of uh, training how to do the lines. Talk us through it, Soph. What have you learnt so far? Uh, so you've got to pull it really tight and this black bit has to be where the silver bit is. And what this, what, okay, explain what are these called and what is this line called? <laughs> this is a 
cletus <laughs> uh, just a cleat oh. <laughs> what's this called i don't know it's a fair lead fair lead and what is this line called the brown lines are they stay here yeah what are they called i don't know give you a clue it's a season it's not a summer or a winter line it's a spring line spring line God what on. a guess right so how do you wrap it around the cleat so you pull it tight this way yeah and go round yeah once then you go over Figure one time eight. yeah two time keep pulling it yeah three time four times and then this is a bit of a complicated bit but you go like that i think Oh God, like that, yeah. Hook it underneath, that's it. And then pull it tight. Pull it tight this way, that's it, that'll do. And then now with this bit, you pull it up, so it's like straight above, it's a little knotted. And then you've got to do like these big circle things, but it gets very twisted. Just, just twist the line between your thumb and your finger as you're coiling it back up. Straighten it back out. Now you see, you need to try and get the coils the same length. So that one's a lot shorter than the first one you did. That's it. And a bit of excess there. That'll do. And then you go under here like so. And Uh, <laughs> it's raining. Okay, there we go. So that spring line now isn't is going to stop the boat going forward, yeah? Yeah, and you can pull and it really fast. Another spring line here that stops the boat going backwards. Okay. Cool. I feel like I should have brought a notepad and pen today. Right, you can remember it. It's like school. Right. Okay. So, so now we've learned what the spring lines do. The brown ones, the blue and yellow lines, basically are the lines that stop the boat drift in too far away from the pontoon. Now there's two sides to this. Okay there's a side that's connected to the boat so it goes from the cleat on the boat through the fair lead down to the cleat on the um, on the pontoon so only this bit of the line is securing the boat. This is just put on to keep the lines nice and tidy. So before we cast off what we need to do is run these lines so that you can cast off from the boat. So when we're about to leave the dock, we are both on the boat and we can both release the lines. So what we need to do... What, at the same time? Yeah, so we do it at the same time. So I'll do the back one here while you're doing the front one. Right. And then when all the lines are clear, then I'll hit the boat in reverse and we'll, we'll be off. So what we need to do is, as you can see, I've done some figure eights around that cleat on the dock by your feet. Just like that one. Yeah. Um, and basically what we need to do is set these lines up so that there's no figure eight there. So the boat will be secured from this cleat on the boat down to that cleat. It's wrapped around that cleat and then come back and secured on this cleat on the boat. All right. So if you undo that cleat, pull this line all the way through first. This one. Yeah. I always think you sort of try and not get it wet. Okay. Now if you undo that figure of eight. Oh, I've got to pull it through. You didn't need to have done that, but... Oh, didn't I? No. Right, now, keep that end that's in your hand fairly tight, because the boat will start drifting away if you don't. And you need to pass it through the middle of the cleat and pass it back up to me. Through here? Yeah. What, this end? Yeah, pass that end through... What, which way? Facing you or facing me? Yeah, that's me? It, the, uh, exactly as you had it there. Take that in through and pass that up to me. Try not to get the lines twisted here. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so now... That's it, just pull the boat back in. I'll just put that back through the fair lead. Quite heavy. Yeah, go on, you let go now, I'll take the strain. Right, so now what's going to happen is, when we're ready to go, I'll be able to undo this line, and it'll just pull through that cleat. Yeah? Yeah. So I'm just going to put a few more figure of eights around that, just to tidy the rope up. 
So right. So now what we need to do is exactly the same on the other end. Yeah. It just means that now when we want to cast off, you can be on the boat. I don't have to run and jump. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> right. You got that? Yes. Okay. So let's go and do the other end. Right. We are all suited and booted, and I think it's about time we cast off. Safety briefing done. Confident you know everything. Right. Let's start her up. Power on. Glow plugs for 10 seconds. As you can see, a nice full tank of fuel. It is raining. Ah, don't worry about it. And there we go. Checking that the water is coming out the bottom end. There we go. battery warning but that will go off in a minute. Conway Marina, Conway Marina, this is sailing vessel QDOS, over. QDOS, QDOS, this is Conway Marina, go ahead, over. Hello Conway Marina, this is QDOS, just uh, requesting permission to uh, leave the marina for a couple of hours if that's okay please. Kudos, kudos, Con Marina. Yes, the lights are on green, the sailgate is fully lowered. I currently have no visual on any oncoming traffic, however, please proceed with caution. Over. Thank you very much. Uh, kudos out. That is it. That means we can go. So let's get this show on the road, shall we? Big grey clouds. <laughs> the wind's blowing that way, so we should be alright. And we're away! <laughs> this is cool. Goodbye parking spot. Slip. Oh. It's called a slip. It's where you park. Oh, it's very blue over there. And it smells like the sea. I'm glad we're driving into the sun. It's quite fast. Will it? Is it not top speed? No. Woo! <laughs> Sophie, it's your first time helping a boat. What do you think? I'm driving. I was a bit scared I was going to crash. And I'm getting a bit wet because it's raining. But it's good. It was hard to get used to, but I think I'm used to it already, so... And we've managed to avoid the, uh, the sightseeing cruising boat. Right, turn around a little bit to port now because we're going to go around this boy, yeah? We have to go in between that green and red one. Yep, exactly, yep. You got it. Don't cut the corner though. Got your red boy over there, yeah? Red right return. Keep red on the right when you're returning to the sea. That's how I remember it. Oh, it's uh, You're in the wake of that boat, that's why. Oh. <laughs> Right, turn to port so you stay in the channel and now can you see up ahead you've got a channel clearly marked with red and green boys yeah yeah. yeah that's all right so he's coming towards us yeah? yeah so we always pass port to port so come over this side now do a quite a strong turn that's it so now he can see that we're turning and we're going to go port to port so just head towards the red boy for now to give him plenty of room You get, yeah, you just stay as you are because you're heading straight towards it now. Don't come in because it will end up going too close to him. Tell me when to turn left and right and pass him. Just when you pass him. Oh, they're coming back in. That's the boat. That's not the same boat, is it? Huh? That's not the same boat that was in the marina office. Yeah, it is. That's the guy. Was it? Yeah. Wonder what's happened to him. Right. They've aborted their cruise. You all right there, Jesse? You've had a little sweetie. Everybody's had a sweetie. Everybody's happy. So are we still in a river, or is this the sea now? 
No, we're out in the sea now. That's the Great Orm over there. Oh yeah? And then this is Puffin Island over here. That's where we're heading. Once we get out the channel. No, because the big sandbanks out here. That's why you've got to follow the Boyd Channel. It's raining. We're getting a bit wet. Is that the ceiling? Gonna mess my hair up. Uh-huh. Well, There's blue sky up there, but it's not heading our way. It's not. It's just rain. Didn't expect to get a shower today. I brought my wetsuit. Um, I was planning on going for a dip, but I don't think that's going to be happening because it, it's still raining and I'm still sat hiding in the shade, in the shelter. But it's lunchtime. You want your sandwich, Dad? Yeah. That for me. That's Dad. Soggy sandwiches. <laughs> Jess has come inside because she, like, she got a bit wet. Look at this soggy doggy. Oh, Jessie bear. Hi, hi. And she's a little bit wet. Well, but it's okay, isn't it, Jess? It's okay. She is soaking. I'm not so wonky. What up, dog? <laughs> A look, right? It's it's the shorts and the thick coat and the gloves for me. Ooh. I want tea to warm up my hands because my fingertips are freezing. Is it sunny yet? Not yet, but it will be. It has to be. Still raining? Not as bad as it was. It's like, it's only spitting now, isn't it? It is. And we've got tea. Oh, mine's probably going to be a bit hot. In fancy mugs. So yeah, that's what's going on. Okay, so the rain has stopped for now. Finally. <laughs> and it's time to do a little bit of sailing. Let's get, them, let's get that mainsail out. So what you need to do, keep us heading into the wind, yeah? Yeah. So it's coming over the side a little bit now. It's waving about so much. Turn the engine off. And this is where it all goes nice and quiet. What's our speed? 2.3 knots. Hey! Okay. It's gonna take us like 10 hours to get home. <laughs> I'll put the other side up in it, we'll go faster. See, apart from the noise the heat is making, isn't it nice and peaceful? It is, it is much nicer than the, having the engine on. We're still heading in the right way. You tell me, what's the arrow doing? Where's the back of the arrow? The back of the arrow is this side of the thing. So is it in between the two squares? No. So that's all right, we're saving them. Head sail, main sail out. We're sailing along. How fast are we going? 2.8 knots. Way. Rapid. And how deep's the water? 15.5 metres. Yeah, perfect. So we're on a nice tack now, just to avoid the island over there. Great warm in the distance. And we've got wind in our sails. And it's nice and quiet. And the sun is shining. Yay. This is what I came for. So if you did actually bring a wetsuit, are you going in? <laughs> it's too cold. But that's what a wetsuit's for, to keep you warm. Yeah, but I'll be freezing afterwards. You go in and I'll stay on the boat. No thanks. Just you should just jet off without me. Would I do that? Right, keep your arm where we're going. Yeah, I've got an eye. You got an eye? Good. 
this is why I bought a sailing boat. Peaceful, sunshine. Okay, we could be doing a little bit faster, but <laughs> Sophie's first time. I think this is fast enough. Beautiful. Nice of you to join us now the sun's come out. <laughs> it's a fair weather dog. <laughs> a fair weather sailor. <laughs> that noise you can hear can is the wind generator. Charging our batteries whilst we've got no engine on. Jess has taken off her life jacket and feels so free. I love that the sun is out. It's so nice. We're just cruising. Puffin Island right there looks completely different from what it did before because the sun's out. It's landed now. But there should be mountains right there. But you can't even see them, that's how rainy it is and that's what we were in before. But this is so much better, I'll take this any day. Hi Jessie Bessie. <laughs> right, can you see? We're about to hit some rougher water. Oh yeah? What does that rougher water mean? So that's the, obviously the wind is somehow, the, the island is somehow deflecting the wind, but once we get in this rough a bit, we should go a little bit faster. Oh, what speed are we doing right now? Three and a half knots. I don't know if you can see that on here, but absolutely rapid. Blasted. This deck thing has dried so fast. It has, not it? So yeah, that's currently the goings on. And it's lovely. Absolutely lovely. You can feel the wind picking up. Already? I can feel it in my head. <laughs> and your hair. Yeah. Messing your hair up. Hey Jessie. Jess really is the main character. Start at look, look. Don't lick my face because it's disgusting. Don't do it. Don't. Don't just don't do it. No. She's so cuddly. Look at the sunshine now. <laughs> Doing four knots, and ten knots of breeze. And it is Back tropical. Forward. And we're heading back to Conway Marina. Honestly, I could be in like Barbados or somewhere right now. It's not that bad. <laughs> no, it's not. Um, well, we jinxed it. It's, it's starting to rain again. There must be a nice rainbow somewhere. Yeah. It's blazing sunshine, but it's raining. Look, if you look on, okay, you can see all the raindrops come in. And you might hear them. So, that's great. Just as I was enjoying the sun and relaxing, it's raining again. Right, so we're heading back into the marina. I've just come forward to put the uh, fenders back down the side, ready for when we come alongside. Now, in case you're wondering what all this rope is, um, it's because the marina haven't quite finished fixing the table that my windlass sits on. So the chain stayed on the pontoon and they gave me that just as a case of emergency that we had to anchor somewhere. Um, I just um, we've got the anchor on the front but no windlass and they gave me the anchor road which is a whole load of rope that uh, I could use if I needed to deploy the anchor. But uh, obviously we didn't need to do that because uh, you don't ever need to do that if your engine failed and uh, you had no ways of uh, kind of propelling the boat um, and you were drifting into shore so as an emergency then you drop your anchor and uh, that secures you and keeps you off the rocks and off the beaches but of course you'd be in pretty dire if you had to do that because obviously without an engine you've got a sail and you can obviously more or less not that I'd ever want to do it but you could always sail back into the marina if you wanted to it wouldn't be easy but it's doable but at least that's there as, a, as an emergency if we needed it but we're just heading back in. We should be back in in about half an hour. Sophie's on the helm. You okay back there? I'm okay. Can you see the boys? Yeah, I'm looking out for them. Well, would you believe it? Our raincoats are back on again because the sun was almost gone and the black clouds above are gathering. Of the day. Story of the day. I it's think it's going to rain again. <laughs> right then, Sophie, it's been a proud father's moment bringing my daughter sailing. <laughs> How was it for you? It was very good. It was definitely better when the sun was out. I can see myself doing this a lot in the summer, but it's already cold. My fingertips are freezing off now, and my hennies brush. <laughs> 
Yeah, so does mine. <laughs> Can't wait to do my own when I get back in. <laughs> so you definitely come back sailing with me again then? Yeah, if I was guaranteed hot weather. <laughs> I'll bring my paddle board. And your wetsuit. And my wetsuit. And then that'll be a good day out. That's good. So that's all the family that have now been on the boat, apart from my wife. Mum's not been on the boat? She, well, she's been on the boat. She's not been sailing on the boat. Has she not? No. She gets seasick, to be well, fair. She thinks, and she reckons she'll get seasick, but I don't. even today she wouldn't have got seasick. <laughs> well, wobbling. The rain is coming. The blue sky that we were in is all the way over there now. It's a thing of the past. <laughs> and now it's just rain. And it feels like winter once again. But that's it. The sail is pretty much over. That's the marina right there. Yeah. The sky does look quite cool though. Jessie is taken to her bed once again. All that dog does is sleep, I swear. And she's sleeping. Oh wow. I've just caught a glimpse of my own hair. My mouth is so cold, it feels weird talking. I've got one more task, and it's when we get there. I've got to get the ropes tied around the doodars quite quick. And this is what my brother fell off the boat doing last time when he was here. So I've got to make sure I don't make it two out of two of Dave's kids falling in, the, falling in on their first sail, so. <laughs> got to tie the rope around the doodars. That's it, that's all I've got to do, but Dan managed to fall in, so. Let's hope I don't do that. That's proper sailing terms, that. Tie the rope round the doodars. The, yeah, that, that's what they use in sailing, that. Tie the rope round the doodars. That makes more sense than um, all the other sailing terms I've heard today. Like, I don't know why people can't use left and right. <laughs> that makes no sense to me. Okay, so we're back, we're alongside, and we're just putting the boat to bed. And before Sophie and I head home, there's just one or two little jobs that I always do before I leave. And one of those jobs is to check the engine over. Now, they don't teach you this at sailing school, and I think they should. Uh, what they do teach you is to check the engine before you go. And yes, that is very important to check the oils and the fluid levels before you switch the engine on. But an engine isn't going to go wrong whilst it's sat in the marina doing nothing. An engine will develop a fault when it's running. So I like to check that nothing has happened to the engine whilst we've been out on the water today. So I'm just doing a very quick visual inspection. I'm looking for any oil, I'm looking for diesel, I'm looking for water leaks, I'm checking coolant levels. I'm gonna check the strainer box in just a moment. Uh, I can't do that right now because I've got a camera in one hand and a torch in the other. Uh, so I'll put the camera down in a moment, I'll check the strainer box, make sure um, we haven't sucked up anything into the, into the box from the sea. If you don't know what a strainer box is, basically, um, the the engine is cooled by coolant but that coolant is cooled by seawater and so the seawater is sucked up through that strainer box and into the heat exchanger so anything like seaweed that could have got sucked up uh, gets caught in that strainer box so I'm just going to make sure that that's not blocked I'll do that in just a moment I'm looking at the um, alternator belts and everything you do have to be a bit careful because the engine is very hot but I do think it's very important to to check this engine out because let's let's say for argument's sake we develop an oil leak today now if I didn't check the engine now the next time I check the engine will be five minutes before I'm due to leave on my next trip and I could have arranged for friends and family to come and join me on the boat for that trip and I check the engine five minutes before we're due to cast off I notice the oil and then of course that trip is over before it's even begun and I've got a lot of disappointed friends and family sitting on the boat going nowhere so that's why I think it's very important to check the engine, not only before you leave, but when you get back. Because at least if there is a problem, now I've got time to get it sorted before my next trip. But I'm happy with that. Doesn't seem to be anything down there. I can't smell any diesel, no water or, or oil anywhere. So that's good, I'm pleased. Job done. 
right we're going to leave this video here so thank you very much for watching from me and sophie appreciate your time if you have enjoyed this video then please remember to hit that thumb and give us a like and if you're not done so already please subscribe any comments or questions please put them in the box below and until next time from me sophie and little jess we'll see you soon bye bye